In August last year, Sidi Mohammed ben Arafa became Sultan of Morocco. This followed the deposition of Sultan ben Youssef by the French. It was a move that caused immediate friction, and the new Sultan found himself frequently opposed by leading Moroccans. Only a few weeks after the new Sultan came into power, we filmed exclusive pictures of an attempt on his life while he was riding from his palace at Rabat to the Grand Mosque. The Sultan was on his way to attend the Muslim ritual of Friday prayers. All seemed quiet as he neared the mosque, and then... <laughs> Wounded by bullets, the assailant lay dying on the ground. His mission had failed, for the Sultan was unharmed. The chieftain's horse had its leg broken and was quickly destroyed. The attack, it was announced, was a purely personal affair and not connected with the Sultan's political opponents. Then, during a visit to Marrakesh a few days ago, the Sultan went to pray at the Berima Mosque. This was part of the first tour he had made here since his accession. Again, all seemed well as he and his followers knelt in homage. The service of noonday prayers came to an end. Suddenly, an explosion was heard. A grenade had been thrown at the Sultan as he left the mosque. With blood streaming down his face, the 64-year-old leader was hurried to his car. He had received a cut across the forehead. The assailant, a 25-year-old truck driver, had been shot dead. One of the Sultan's aides was injured from a second grenade. When told later of his assailant's death, the aide Sultan said, It is the will of Allah.